now let's continue since we have our function working um next we want to do is want to get into the game basically because that's what's next okay the next we're gonna do now is we want to first display the state of the game which is this we want to display how many characters the word how many characters the words we are gonna be guessing so we're gonna print display I'm gonna put into put word and then use letters. Since we are calling the function now, we're gonna make use of use letters. So this is the variable we're gonna be adding just letters to. Now we must word wondering where's our words. We just magically add words to it. No, of course. This is words and this is not word. So now we're gonna create our word variable here. Word. And of course we're gonna be picking it from here. Remember this is now a list okay now we're gonna make use of the random python standard library from the random module from the python standard library we're gonna make it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do random dot and then we're gonna make use of the choice okay attributes or the choice function now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass the list in here okay use this to list what happens is it's gonna pick a random word from this list a random item from the list which is a word in this case okay so it's gonna be that pick hello dear year or dope so when it picks it that will be our word and settles okay so if i save this and run it as you can see we have one two three four five that's our word we since we don't have anything in use letters that's why we have all uh, underscore if i run it again we should get okay still five characters okay um wow is it okay okay let's see if we get four characters to make sure it's working okay we get that just want to make sure that was working well so we don't keep having okay now what we want to do now is we want to make use of a while loop to keep asking the user to keep guessing okay so we're gonna do while true okay of course there's another way you can do this but we're gonna first do it this way so while true what you want to do is you want to first ask the user for input remember we're printing a state force which is the underscores and then we ask the user for input now we're gonna call the input guess or you can call it letter okay let's call it letter letter and we're gonna say input enter a guess okay we're gonna just do it this way and this then since we are going to be dealing with uppercase here since we have all uppercase in here so we're going to make this uppercase as well okay i'm going to do the upper now let me explain this so you don't get confused some of you might be like what was this is this possible okay so what happens is when you call your input function it tax it taxes the user for an input okay so when the user inputs for example let's say let's assume we have a, it, it taxes we we have the word dog I'm gonna let's copy this so I show you what I mean. Let me explain all this here. Okay, so if I put dog in here, what happens is Python replaces the whole of this input with dog, and then it's a string. Remember, the input returns a string, and then what we are doing is we are calling the upper method on this on the dog on the string so which is going to give us uppercase dog if i call it now as you can see so python re replaces this input with a string and then we call your upper which is a, p a string method fortunately for us and then it does this so that's what's happening here don't get confused it's still the same thing okay now when we get the letter what we want to do is we want to make sure this letter is not in use word. so if letter is not in the used letters okay these are the letters this is the list of the letters the users the user have guessed already so to make sure this new letter the user is putting in is not there so of course if this is the first guess it's not going to be there so it's going to pass through th this condition so what we want to do is we're going to print you've guessed this you've okay let's use you've used the letter okay Yes, okay now else which means if which will of course be the first situation since at first there's nothing in the use letters so else if there's nothing in the if this letter the guess is not in the use letters what we want to do is first of all we want to want to update the state which means we want to print this and check if the new letter takes a space in here so what we're going to do is we're going to do 
state let's call it states then we're gonna call display display and let's pass in the word and it's the, the use letter so that's the list of the use letters and then we're gonna print state okay okay is that cool now what we're gonna do is let's run this first and see how it works okay so we're gonna run this and then let's try h um d h e r e obviously this is not working now let's see where that is from okay if it if letter in use letters okay let's keep this else state equals to display then we have our word and then use letters which is correct then we are printing the state so what's possibly wrong am i missing anything oh i'm very sorry about this <laughs> can't remember, i can't believe that's just skipped over my head so whenever it gets letter uh, when the letter is not in the use letters you're going to add it to the use letters so now since you've guessed it and it's not there now i want to make sure it's there so we're going to do use letters dot append then we're going to append the letter okay now we're gonna append it to the letter and then we're gonna that which means our use letters list is now updated which should update the state okay so we're gonna save that and then we're gonna run that so this should work now um so this is hello and o. of course so now we need a way to stop this loop now what the way we're gonna do it is uh, firstly we're gonna do if now you notice this result here this which is the value of this state whenever there's no we get our guesses complete we get all the letters correctly there is no more there's no underscore in the string which means we've gotten the word so we can make use of that here so what we do is if underscore not in state which means if it's not in this string which is what we are printing now basically so if it's not there which means we've gotten the word now we want to break okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print okay good job and okay what else what else e, okay let's do that f first and see how it works how it goes h oh i'm okay d e and then r as you can see then we have good job it works okay so whenever we can't find an underscore in these states which means as you can see there is still underscore so when we get to this state where there is no underscore we, we end it okay basically now i'm gonna add it um we're gonna add some some, some kind of counter there to sh tell you how many times you've tried so we're gonna call it trials um that sounds weird anyway so we're gonna do trials plus equals work we're gonna be doing this trials plus equals to one in here it's because whenever if you put it outside here if you get a letter that's already in the use letters it's gonna add one to the trial which is not what we want we only want to add one to the amount of times you tried if it's a new letter okay as you can see okay you're, i hope you understand that now let's move on as you can see we have this augmented assignment operator we can also make use of that here which i'll be doing now so this we can shorten this to be equal to be i'm gonna do this to be this okay now this is basically the same as what was there before so what i do is that is equal to with this you just put if you want to make use of a minus p or minus if you want to make use of a times you put the times here but in this case since we are using plus we're going to be leaving the plus okay so the, what is happening here we are do is we are doing result equals to results plus i plus space it's basically the same thing okay i was waiting to the end okay i was waiting to the end to the end to the end so that i can explain it okay now we have that and at the end of everything i want to print you tried um we're gonna do print we're gonna have trials here and then we're gonna do times okay of course it's more than one so there's no need for the bracket there um let's see is there anything missing so i think that's all now let's run the game let's just run we're gonna do a d h okay something is missing which i've noticed and t r okay you try six times good job so there's something is missing which is the use letters okay so we are not printing the use letters now um we're gonna print the use letters every time we update our state so after we update the state we've added the letters to the use letters now we want to print the amount of use, use the use letters we have okay so what we're gonna do is 
no matter what we're gonna we're gonna always always print it even if you've guessed letter before or whatever so i hope you understand that uh, we're gonna be printing our use letters irrespective of what this condition is okay so which means it's gonna be outside of the condition okay so now we're gonna do print this now first of all we're gonna print use letters this and then comma now instead of just giving us the list of the used letters watch this see something there's some see something special we can do here we're gonna do dot join then the name of the name of the list as you can see it table list is also an it table by the way if you never heard of that of you it and you're confused the list is an it table too okay that's the topic for another day okay now what happens here is when you call a dot join on a string it expects you to give it an it table for example a list in this case now when you give it this list what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep adding each item in this list to this string so if i add a space here what's what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep adding let's say assume we have a b c d in this use letters list so what it's gonna do is gonna add a add space add b add space add c like that and whatever i put here is gonna be some kind of separator or something like that so what we want here is just comma and then space which is the same thing we did here so let's run that and see if you run that at first if i do a as you can see use letters a it's capsule letter because we converted this to uppercase okay so we're gonna do t okay not there we're gonna do h okay l as you can see and e oh hello good job you try six times so now the game is finished i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video and you watched it to the end make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in the next youtube video peace out guys